Okay, let me turn up some windows here so we can uh, so at least you can hear what I'm saying. Although some of you might not want to hear it. And in that case, turn off your video and go away. <laughs> oh gosh. So I'm off to another uh, event today. It's August 31st. And this is the Hamburg, they call it the Hamburg Ur Festival. And there's a lot of restaurants there who are, they have set up tents and they are serving hamburgers from 8.30 in the morning until four, I guess. Now it's nine o'clock now. I just really took off maybe 20, 15, 20 minutes ago. I stopped for some Wawa beverage. And um, I have a little headache. They say a front is moving in and um, I can feel the pressure changes. So, um, I just thought I'd uh, touch base with you guys and let you know where I'm headed. I uh, also changed the uh, position of the camera, so I am... So, oh, I had to stop there for people falling off their bicycles on the trail. <laughs> We have rails to trails, and I kind of think it's a little bit, I don't know. Some places they don't let horses on, but they want to have the open space, but they don't want to have any place for horses to walk. Now, what's that about? I can understand making them clean up their poop, but come on, why can't the horses walk there? And um, so I changed the camera. And I, hopefully I'm sitting on the correct side of the car in the United States now. Um, some people were saying that I thought I moved to the UK because I was on the wrong side of the car. So anyway, oh, there's my favorite breakfast place, Snookies. I hope you got that. I wasn't really watching real close. I'm driving. Our snoozies. I'm not. I'm sorry. It's not snookies. It's snoozies in Schwanksville. And they have a little patio, and we can take our dog and sit outside on the patio, which is very nice. A lot of places have that. And the girls, um, the wait staff really treats the dog nice, brings her water and a piece of bacon and that kind of thing. Well, if they know you, I guess. If you're regular, your dog gets bacon. <laughs> So anyway, what was I gonna say next? Ah, the fear porn. We got fear porn going on down in Florida. And I saw something, uh, Shep Smith. And is he a weatherman normally? I don't know because I don't watch those people anymore. Those, those liars, those deceivers, I don't watch them. And um, so, they, uh, he was on and saying, oh, if this storm goes 20 miles inland, you all will die, he says. What? I mean, it's like such fear porn and they have to make it really uh, uh, sound like scary because people are catching on and they are kind of immune to all the... Uh, the uh, stressful action and stressful words now that like people used to believe them uh, but now they have to come right out and say you're gonna die in order to get people to actually do anything because we are seeing what has happened um, what was that storm well, there was Sandy, but the one before that started with a K and hit, like, Mississippi. 
in Louisiana. Um, they were taking people's guns. That was a big mistake that they started taking people's guns. An old man sitting on the porch. Oh, we need your guns. I'm there, what? <clears throat> yeah, don't tell me people didn't catch on to that. And uh, I don't know, pray for the military. Not that they will be successful, but that they will be righteous. That they will do what is right over taking orders. Now, you know, there was this guy, Michael New, long ago. I think it was the 70s. And he, uh, he said, I will not wear the United Nations arm patch. I will not fight for the United Nations. And uh, <clears throat> he was a hero. But they, they punished him, I'm sure. Don't know where he is now. It was not death. It may have been some sort of military thing. But um, I don't know how they could have punished him at all because he never took an oath to serve the military in the United Nations. <clears throat> so I pray for the military that, um, that they all wake up. They all wake up and they start saying no to their leaders, their commanders, because they are saying yes to the Constitution and the people who they defend. So, <clears throat> I hope they take their oath seriously. I hope they, these evil controlling parasites did not change the oath. And um, all this contract corporate law that they're using to deceive us. You know the United States is a corporation. If you haven't heard that, hello, wake up. So they have used the um, corporate law to deceive us. Even where you sign your name, if it's in a little box, you're a corporation. I mean... So they think that, you know, haha, -ha, they're doing all this stuff and they're okay, they're, they're right. But we are all totally deceived because we're playing by two different sets of rules. You've got to understand that. There are two sets of rules and it's not just them being bad because they think they're doing right, although they know they are deceiving us. That's where they are doing wrong and bad. And whatever name you want to call it, it's immoral, it's corrupt. When you know the person does not have a full understanding of what you're being told. And see, this is where they get you. The court says, do you fully understand why you're here? Well. I understand why I'm here and the attorney understands a different reason why I'm here and the judge knows what the attorney knows but he doesn't well I'm not gonna say he doesn't know what the people know or what I know he's gonna say he, he may very well and I, I, I'm gonna say yes the, the courts do know that the common people do not understand corporate law. So if you ever go into a courtroom situation and the judge says to you, do you understand why you're here? Say, I was told this. I do not um, know what you understand but what I know, and don't use the word understand, because if you say understand in a courtroom, that means you accept the law that the court is going by. So the judge will say, do you understand? And you say, no, I don't understand 
I go by the Constitution for the people. No. There's, I keep getting these confused. One is of the people, and the other one is for the people, and everything else is the same. But that's all they needed to ch change was one letter. Put one letter, put an R in there, rearrange the letters, and you've got for instead of of. By the people, for the people. I think it's for the people is the good one. Of the people. I'm not sure. See? Do you see how tricky it is? Of the United States. Of the people. It's probably the of. Because there's of the United States is the good one. See? Now, when it says for, that means that somebody else wrote it for those people. I think that's how it goes. It sounds logical to me now. So if somebody does something for you, you've, they've taken it out of your hands. But it's something of you, then it comes from you. That's right. That's totally it now. So, so the courtrooms are all doing this for stuff. Do you understand? I do not stand under your laws. Your no, don't say that. I do not stand under your statutes and regulations. I am of the people standing for my rights as a as one of mankind. I don't even like the word human because somebody said that meant monster. I, look that one up. You can laugh if you want about that, but I don't know. And I am totally open to all of this. You have to be very careful how to navigate yourself through this world. I also put up a uh, post about children. Somebody said something about, you know, what do we do in the schools? And uh, I'm going to tell you, let me tell you something. Uh, your children do not have to attend school until eight years old. Although in some states it may be seven now. Maybe it's a federal law to be seven years old. I think it's disgusting. Um, but they're trying to uh, widen the scope of how much time they take your children. So keep your child out of school as long as possible. Now, when I homeschooled my young, my older two, my son, uh, we had a business and it was growing and I had to put time into the business. And my ex was not a very good boss, let's say. So I kind of ran anybody who worked for us and I had to be out on the job. And I don't think he wanted to really set up a payroll and all that for other people. Although, we did pay some people as a subcontractor. So, all this is like, okay. Anyway. Where was I going? Oh, school. So I had to go to work. I had to go work our business. And so I put my son in sixth grade. And let me tell you something. That boy was amazing. He was the only one who memorized all the lines in their school play. And he played a trumpet solo. 
and he was just wonderful. I'll tell you, he just was shining. And the other kids, a couple of kids, beat him up at school in the playground one day. How that happened? How did that happen? I do not put it past the teachers and the administrators of the school to set children up for failure. Yes. They will set children up. So all you have to do is find the bad boy and say, oh, see that kid over there? He said this about you. And the kid will never go ask the other kid, did you really say that? He'll just go beat him up. And uh, then, he, then the administrators and teachers just let them off the hook. That's all it takes. And now you got a criminal. Knowing you'll be protected so you can go beat up on people. And they all learn that in the schools. I'm telling you, this is I truly believe all these things I'm telling you. I'm not just making this up. So, my daughter went into third grade and she had a terrible time. She was a little on the shy side, very reserved. And they thought that she was let's say, retarded, meaning uh, she was slower than the rest of the kids. She was not. They put her in remedial reading, and she could read very well. And uh, they thought she was all sorts of backwards. And it really damaged her um, her personality because of what they did to her. I would never do it again. I would never do that again. I would keep her with me because she was a wonderful, she still is wonderful and I hope she finds herself someday. She's had some very trying times. Been through a lot. People have, uh, lied to her and used her and I hope the heck she finds out who she really is and she's a beautiful person so when she was in the remedial class she would help the other kids and now how did that happen why didn't the teacher spend time with her why did they let her teach the other kids I think they wanted her to be slower in reading so you know what we did my mother paid to have her taken to Sylvan Learning Center. Praise God for them. In a month and a half, she gained a year and a half in reading level. No kidding. And once we had that Sylvan certificate that said she was up to reading level, she was out of that remedial reading. Because she didn't belong there. And what does that tell you about the school's teaching methods? They are way, way like dinosaur. And dinosaurs didn't exist. Uh, I think a few, there were a few creatures. There were the dragons and the behemoth. I'm not sure if that was like a huge elephant or whatever. No, it had a long tail like a cedar tree. The behemoth. And I bet you there's other, the books that they took out of the Bible, I'll bet you there's other creatures in there that we don't really know about. They did take a lot of books out of the Bible. You've got to know that. So, um, read those other books. The book of Enoch, I know exactly why they took that out, because it says the sun moves, not the earth. So the sun moves and uh, goes around us in a circuit. And that's early on in the Book of Enoch. But the schools have terrible, terrible teaching methods. They don't 
want the students to achieve and excel. I'm telling you. Then they teach lies. Lies in the textbooks. How can anybody really advance if they are not being taught the truth? I'm telling you, it's really nasty, nasty stuff in this public indoctrination centers they call schools. So, uh, what else? So I'm on my way up there. There, oh, the hurricane down there. Oh, Katrina. That's what it was. The Hurricane Katrina where they were talking about the guns, taking the guns away and whatnot. You got to be careful, people. The uh, government really only knows that I have a concealed carry permit. And that's all they're, they're going to know. And that's why they do it. They do this concealed carry stuff so they know who has a gun. That's why they do that. Why else would they do it? And then they published it. Who has a concealed carry? Well, then that means everybody else is free. You know, free game, right? There are no gun zone. All those other houses. And then the uh, robbers would go and steal from them because they didn't have a gun listed. Well, I guess that doesn't really doesn't apply to shotguns and rifles because you can't really conceal them, can you? Unless you're wearing a trench coat. So anyway, I'm off to this Hamburg thing. Now, if you watched my last set of videos, the River Fest, you will notice that um, the one guy says, oh yeah, we're going up to the River Fest, the Hamburg. We're going to Hamburg. And I said, oh, when was that? When's that going to be? He said, on the 31st. I'm there. I'm going to go to that. So everybody knows I'm going to that. So it's, it is shoulder to shoulder. When they get going there, it's packed. And uh, I'm going to give a shout out to Deitschek. It's a, it's a traditional German restaurant, Pennsylvania Dutch restaurant. And it's just a little house and it's got, uh, you know, it's pretty old. It's got a bar in it and it's all decorated in... Um, you know, Pennsylvania Dutch. Oh, golly. What are those, um, the symbols called? Oh, I'm having a brain fart. When you're over 50, you have a brain fart once in a while. But, um, the way they used to paint, well, they still paint their, uh, farms, har, uh, barns and outbuildings with symbols. So, that's what's all inside, and I think it's worth a trip. It's on 78 between Allentown and Hamburg. Yeah, uh, 78. I don't know what the other route. Um, just look it up, Deutsch Eck. On it's on the. That's what Eck means, corner. German corner. That's really the name of the restaurant, Deutsch. Eck. So, E-C-K. Mein Hut er ist dreieckig. Dreieckig ist mein Hut. <laughs> my hat, it has three corners. Three corners has my hat. Kannst du mich erfangen? Can you catch a fly? This is an old Pennsylvania Dutch joke. Kannst du mich erfangen? Ja, wann sie hoch bleiben? The answer is yes, if he's sitting down. <laughs> you gotta pay Pennsylvania Dutch to appreciate that. Silliness, it's just silliness. But you know what? They're the hardest working people ever. Ever. The Germans were just wonderful 
hardworking people and they were very intelligent and I'm gonna tell you I very much question what happened in World War II you bet I question that I just don't think it's like we're getting told the official narrative is always to be questioned but look what it did it got us into war didn't it a very nasty ugly war let's not do that anymore people to all you military wake up wake up look at what's been happening I know they got rid of some generals who were out in the open and and did not do as they were told they were um, disgraced they were uh, shamed and I can't name names because I don't have all of the facts but I know a lot of them were gotten rid of and I pray to Jesus that they are not giving up their oath although we have no evidence of any of that and I think we ought to join their army if there is an army the militia we are all part of the militia whether you know it or not we are the militia and we have the right to defend our property our homeland ourselves so it's going to be up to us and that's what they knew these parasitic controllers knew that that's why they just have these mass migrations bringing all these people in here what for why are they bringing people in here what's wrong with their own country what's wrong with their countries tell me that what is wrong with their own country so if their own country is in shambles and these people did not do anything about it what is bringing them here going to do now people will say well their governments are are uh, controlling and restrictive and they don't have freedom there really that's not it what you don't see is the truth you only see their uh, the paper that's you know their constitution or their government is on the outside and it's all made up pretty much what's true is what you don't see they have a central bank so and we probably helped to install it so anyway I'm, I'm talking a lot today it seems but maybe I had to get some of this stuff out um, when I get there to this event I'm gonna be parking gee as close as I can get but closer to the one end and that's what I like to do is get on one end then go through the event and around and then come back out so at least I have two passes um, for everyone to see what's you know what I've got now I'm gonna try and find a little location where I can um, maybe set up oh I didn't bring the bench I was gonna bring a stool today and sit on a stool so I'd be able to last a little longer I don't know when I'm down at the boardwalk I put in like six hours down there there's benches right there and you can sit down you can go get some eat. you can take a break there is usually somebody with me so I could take a break so um, I don't know I'm gonna do the best I can that's all I can do right got the camera with me so I'm I'm so far I'm doing good I have water a camera all right all right I'm gonna let you go um, I'm gonna premiere this video first 
and then it'll probably be well it'll probably be Sunday night I know we have Memorial Day on Monday but that's okay um, yeah it'll be Sunday night and then I'll premiere one segment now my videos are 46 minutes and that's something that my phone automatically did it just breaks them up into 46 minute segments although when I look at if it's still recording it gives me the full time so I think it's just a matter of the, that's how the phone saves them and it has turned out to be a nice option I like it and it's not too long of a video people can watch it and not get you know if there's a slow spot it's not too long I'll tell you when these people uh, put up these two-hour videos I mean what can you do you can't watch them because you're just sitting there like a vegetable but what you do is I put them on and then I'm working around the kitchen or I'm put them on I take my computer out in the garage and turn it on I'm working out in the garage so you can't like just sit there I can't sit there and just sit for two hours or a, or I put it on the TV and I'm working on my computer so I'm you know, that's what I do with long videos you can't do anything else you cannot glue yourself so that's what I'm doing all right guys I uh, hope you enjoy uh, this next series it'll be called Hamburg and uh, no hamburger because that's what it is hamburger festival fest maybe it should be called hamburger feast because <laughs> that's what everybody's doing is feasting there are going to be a couple bands there uh, I think there were two the last time I went to this a couple years ago um, but I don't want to be near the band uh, so I'm going to try and put myself somewhere that I can um, just have some nice and quiet and display my banners and see what happens. Maybe I can take them off of the rack today and just set them in the uh, in the road because this is all Main Street of the road. That's what this is. That's where this uh, fest is. All right. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow night, huh? Okay, bye.